everyone and in this video we'll be discussing about text editor so in the canvas you can see i already have a text editor code added so just like the other elements here also we just need to pass up let me just remove the up of code all right so we have a text editor and inside this text editor we have text uh, which is same just like the previous uh, text field code that we saw so we have a binding variable text so whatever that we enter in the text editor this value will get stored in the text variable and then we have passed a frame of minimum height 200 let's just make it frame with height of 300 all right and by default we have given some padding so you can see this this is our text field text editor currently because it has white background and there's no border to it uh, we can only see the pointer so let's just add a background color to the text editor so that the text editor is much visible so for adding a text editor background if we directly do background and we pass a color let's say we pass gray with an opacity of let's say 0.5 you can see that nothing changes so for this background color to work we will have to first do scroll content background and make it hidden so you have to apply both of them to get the background color working in swift ui so once we have the background color added we just reduce the opacity to 0.2 uh, let's make it 0.1 yeah this is fine okay so yeah we have added our scroll content background and uh, we have done a frame to it and uh, we have a binding variable that will have the text input stored in this variable so whatever we enter you can see that the text variable is being updated real time okay let's just remove this code too and then there are more options like if you want to make the alignment center then you can do multi-line text alignment and make it center so whenever you you will input something it will start from center so that's one modifier that you can use on text editor you can also add line spacing let's keep it 10 so whatever you will in input it will have a line spacing of 10 okay so, so that's it about this lecture we will discuss ignoring safe area in our next lecture so see you guys in next video